Now that Bruce has finally shared his deepest lifelong secret, what's next? Well, he mentioned a book, and next is the e-docu-series, but he said to Diane Sawyer that this was his last interview as Bruce, so the family is still adjusting to it all. We have been talking to people from, you know, the GLAAD organization and just different organizations on what do we call him? Do we say him or her until that transition is done? You, we've learned that you do refer to him as him. Learning as they go along, Kim says Bruce has been great about explaining everything to the family. Glad worked with ABC on Diane Sawyer's interview and is consulting on the just announced e docu series, which will follow Bruce living as a transgender woman. Glad's board co chair, Jenny Boylan, is a consultant on the series, and E has asked Glad to provide them with resources to help them make the docu series as respectful and accurate as possible. During Diane's interview, we got a glimpse of what Bruce's life as a transgender woman will look like. He invited Diane to dinner so she could meet who he calls, quote, her, and preview the dress he'd wear. Bruce has not signed on for the next three seasons of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, according to Variety senior TV reporter Elizabeth Wagmeister. And for many wondering why the Kardashians were not part of ABC's interview, this brand new information provides insight. I think that we can also expect to see all of Bruce's family members on the E! docu-series. E! is home to the Kardashians, so there's no doubt about it. They should be showing up to this series. We also know that they're all going to sit down as a family before on E! So we're now really going to hear not only Bruce's side of the story, but his family's side of the story. Do you think he has any idea the attention he's going to get for a certain amount of time? Is he prepared for that? I think he is prepared for it. I think that he has waited almost 65 years to make this decision.